And here we go up and at him. Metro Ice Arena. Ames, the Cyclones in town. The rivals from the north side against the Des Moines Oak Leafs. Andrew Ray to my right. This is Dan Kenny. I'll be following the puck. Andrew, what do we got here tonight? What can we expect? Well, you know, we got the Ames coming in who are, you know, 0-20, you know, looking for their first win on the season. Um, but, it's, it, you know, for our Oak Leafs, it's not, it's not something to look over. You know, they, they, uh, they've been competitive. Uh, you know, just really, it, it, it's, some, it's a team that, you know, you can, you can regroup and get yourself back on track. You know, we've kind of faltered the last two games against Omaha. You can get, either you can get yourself back on track or they can come up and sneak, sneak up and bite you. Um, and so it's going to be kind of a hard-fought uh, hard battle. You know, I think where Ames, you know, their, their downside is, is it in the net. Um, you know, they, they're both their goaltenders, you know, they're giving up, you know, more than five goals a game. And so as long as we are able to, you know, shoot the puck, put the puck on net, you know, and, and then look for those second chance rebounds, uh, I think we'll be fine in this one. But, you know, again, we, we just got to make sure that we're playing sound defensively through the neutral zone and then just putting a lot of pressure. Ames comes in to tonight's game looking for their first junior varsity victory. The Leafs, on the other hand, are battling for a playoff spot. See how this one unfolds. How are you, sir? You know, kind of looking back in their last uh, six games, you know, they, they're kind of a you know, Jekyll and Hyde type team, Ames is. You know, they'll, be, they'll play a team tough. They'll, you know, it'll be a 3-1 game, and then all of a sudden they'll get, you know, blasted out of the, out of the rink, you know, 9 nothing or 9-2, to two, something like that. You know, and then they came back and played the Capitals. It was, you know, a, a, a really good JV team. Um, and, and lost two to nothing wow. to, to them. That's respectable. You know, that's a good which, game. Which is a good game for that. For that. So who knows? You know, the last game they just got done playing, they played Waterloo's JV team, lost seven nothing. And so, you know, if the trend continues, this could be a take a test. Yeah. Game for them. You know. For where, where, where was that Capitals uh, Ames game? Was that in Ames or was that? In, uh, the Bucks Arena. Do you know? Uh, that was up in Ames. Wow. Up in Ames. So. so hold the Caps too. That's pretty good because Caps have had a really good season on that JV. They've got a good yep. young group. So we're just getting ready to fire things up here for the JV game. Ames in town. The boys from the north, all black. Black breezers, black tops, white numbers. They got a little orange outline. And the Oak Leafs going to come at you from, looks like from right to left, there'll be blue breezers, white tops, gold numbers. They've got those roads. And we like to follow, see what happens here. Both teams now down the final stretch. Oakley's eyeing that last series against Quad Cities. I did, you don't want to overlook games, Andrew, but I mean, quite honestly, it looks like those are the two teams positioning themselves. After Omaha got in here, did a pretty good deed against the Leafs. Now they got to kind of start taking care of business and then finally set themselves up for that one. Yeah. This game is going to set us up for the final stretch. Yeah. And, and the, the teams that we have left, you know, are, are teams that are below us. But, you know, that doesn't mean anything uh, because those are the teams that are fighting right with us to make the end of the year tournament. So. Here we go. From right to left come your leaf. Blue Breezers, white tops, and gold numbers. It's Kenny, Kelty, and Glock on the front line. Michael and Borgard on defense. Hayden Stevens is your goaltender. And we're underway from Urbandale during the blizzard. Good to have you with us if you weren't able to make it out. Settle back for two games. Dane Kinney and Andrew, we're going to bring it to you play by play. Good four check by Kelty. Gathered and controlled by Kinney. Takes it wide. The junior from Johnston. Behind the net. Skated off the puck. Hands it over to Kelty. Just underway. 14-30 mark here in the first period. Behind the net to go. Smother now trapped and controlled. A good forecheck again by Kinney. Another good pinch by Borud. Chopped in by Kelty in the Leafs look game early and often here. Zeros across the board. That's Ames, they'll escape to the point. Borud, one-timer, caught traffic. Kelty's there as well. Glock also. We've got an Ames player that yeah, I think the, has the fallen shot to the went, ice. I think the shot went right to that Ames player. I think the puck's underneath of him somewhere. Uh, you know, do a little shooking up there. So. Looking at the Ames goaltender, uh, they have kind of the the, the backup uh, starting uh, this one, Jack Herman Hermanson, uh, coming in here. Hasn't had as many starts as, as the other one, but 0-6 uh, on the season, and you know, 
uh, looking for his first victory. Uh, see, see how that plays out as we continue to uh, put some pressure on him. Leafs Garner, an offensive zone faceoff. That's Roland, Pospisil, and Shepard on the front line. Zimmerman and McGrath on defense. Those are your five Leafs in the ice. They move right to left, but here comes Ames. One-on-one, -on -one, shoveling shot. Missed the glove side and left of Stevens. Now escapes back behind the point. McGrath engages. Zimmerman joins the fray. Now pass with Shell as well. Here comes May Pop, the sophomore from Johnston. He's got it again. From the blue, black front, he delivers. Looks, stops, poised. Set, crossing route, and a good one. Zimmerman, one-timer, floats over the net. Back behind the net, the Leafs go to work. To the right of the goaltender for Ames. Pass with Shell, short one, one-timer. Puck along the ground, no one able to control it. Now Ames will control along their wing and move it from left to right. Able to escape the zone, they grab the blue. Outlet pass and a beauty to the blue as well. McGrath on a good back chase and steal. Back front of his blade, Tex, that a boy. Back he goes, that's Zim, the elder Zim. Back controls, wins the battle, now he'll skate it, look again. The newfound defenseman finds May Pop, dumps, wanted Roland, unable to get the sleeky one, and back comes Ames, and they control again now from left to right in their own offensive zone. Tuck now back along the boards. Popped off the officials' skates, battling again. Are the Leafs now? They'll go for, to a forecheck, unable to gather it. Now they are. Really pesky forecheck by the Leafs as they work at the 12.39 mark here in the first. Kept in, now sent behind the goal. Ames looks to break the zone. It's been all Leafs early on. Nothing on the big board, but they've been really putting the pressure on. That's McGrath. Off the back of his blade, he'll dump it in. Tapped head to center ice. Controlled momentarily by Ames. Again, the Leafs are pesky, but still in front of the net. One timer and a great save by Stevens. Man, the only real good shot of the game thus far came from the team that found themselves on their back. Great play by Stevens. Yeah, nice job by Stevens sticking with that and getting his leg out and just being able to stop that puck from, you know, catching the five hole. But uh, we need to do a better job of catching these guys coming and flying out uh, down down the crease and making sure we get a body and slowing them up. Uh, we've had a couple odd man rushes that we've given up. That odd man rush what resulted in the best shot of the game. Defensive zone faceoff for your Leafs as they work from right to left. Controlled, sent by Michael. Pinch along furthermore. And able to gather and control it. That's Michael again. Works behind the net. It's a Roosevelt right-hander. He'll send it to the wing. Tap now skated. The big fella. Sends it on in. That's Wade, 16. Wade's got it again. Slot, chance, low one. Right on net. Opportunistic look by Wade. Did some nifty work in the defensive zone as well. The Garner an offensive zone faceoff at the 11.40 mark here in the very first period. Scoreless in the JV game, two in a row. Yeah, not, not a bad shot selection there. Just put it on ice, get it, get it a little bit of a rebound, but I think this, you know, that's what we need to look for is just those second chance goals. Draw one by Ames. Sent out of the zone. Here they come, they got the red. The last of the blue, they'll get it. They'll continue. Great feed, one timer, they got it. They got Stevens on. The stick side and low, and just like that, the 11:29 mark here in the very first period. The boys from the north and all black teams. Little Cyclones draw first blood 1-0. Yeah, and we, we just kind of let them, you know, dictate what was going to go through the neutral zone, get into the uh, uh, defensive zone. Nobody kind of picked up a body. Nobody stepped up, uh, to take, knocking them off the puck, and letting them kind of go, on, you know, do what they wanted to do. Uh, they were able to manufacture that goal. Kenny Glock and Kelty on the front line. Borud and Kissinger on defense. Those are your five Leafs on the ice. That's Kelty. Wheels, Leafs are Borud, shovels. Kelty, one-timer, short side. Front of the net, unable to gather it. Kelty again, back now front of his blade. He'll turn, he'll pirouette. Sails in the corner. Kenny there for support as Leafs go to control. Front chance, one-timer, just missed with Kenny crashing. Good work by the Leafs on a forecheck, unable to make it happen. They'll tap it back in, they'll turn and try it again. A lot of experience on this line. Send it into the corner, that caught the back of Kissinger. Continues into the corner of Borod, the left-hander. Sends it to the flank, he wanted Kelty, unable to get Kelty. Now Glock's got it, knees free and easy. Comes Quinn Glock, the left-hander. Wheels, deals, one-timer, missed the glove side and low. 
pinched in, now sent out. Neem's got an odd man again. Cade Board looking to pick it up. Fumbles, Kinney on the back check, able to clear it out of there very quickly. And at the 10-28 mark, Ames will regather, they'll reset, and they'll come from left to right in all black. Sent all the way back down. Left paw of the goaltender Stevens is up in the air. We'll get nice and call, bring it all the way back. And a stop and play at the 10-18 mark, Andrew. Yeah, and Ames is getting in our way, and we're not really getting in Ames's way, and they're kind of getting some free releases from the uh, defensive zone. Making it, we're making it a little easy on Ames. We, we need to be able to step up, take body, just get in front of guys, top the momentum. Roland Shepard and Pasvichel on the front line. McGrath and Zimmerman on defense. Those are your five Leafs in the ice. As the official goes to all fours. Must have wanted to get a low view. Stevens will poke it to the side. McGrath will gather it off the right side of his stick. Comes to X, the big fella. Got the blue, got the red, he's got some steam. Snapper one-timer, caught traffic in front. Gathered by Maypop in the corner. Leaves it on a good circle back again by McGrath. Chopped into the air, it'll escape to the left of the goaltender. Good forecheck by Postichel to keep it in momentarily. This will finally escape the zone off the stick of uh, Ames winger and now there's also caught official again just inside the blue line having trouble getting out of the way those guys so far tonight Pospichel to Zimmerman the right hander from Urbandale the junior asked for the line a little too quickly we'll get a stop and play at the 9 27 mark here in the first period 1-0 boys from the north and all black Ames they lead the Oak Leafs offensive zone faceoff Come just outside the blue line. That's Hanson on the draw. Hender to his right. Wade to his left. That's Springer and Michael on defense. Those are your five Leafs on the ice. Hanson dumps, looks, continues on. Sprawls on all fours. Controlled now. Rames able to clear it to the blue line. Confrontation back and below as Ames looks to gather. Good back check by Hender. Four set one free where Hanson goes to work. Just in front of us. Until he's able to clear it to Michael. Wanted his line mate, Springer. Springer looks the left-hander. Wanted Hender, unable to clear the zone. And Ames is there again in the slot. Dances, looks, look out. Trouble in front of the net, poked out in duress by the Leafs. Looks like they've controlled a bunch of the action, but a couple of the biggest plays have happened for the boys from the north and black. Yeah, and, and now we're going we're to go a man down, and, and we kind of slid in our in our penalty kill. You know, we were number one going into the, number one or number two going into the last week. Now we're dropped down uh, to number seven. So we got to get our penalty kill back on track right here, uh, keep this thing to a one-goal deficit. Yeah, something we hung our hat on, Coach. Yeah. For a lot of the year now, has slid down into the middle back of the pack. Super important to be good at that little fella. In the corner they go. Borrowed on a collision in the corner. That's the big fella. The offensive lineman from Southeast Polk digs in. He takes them both on. Still after him. Squashed both of those bugs and finally were able to send it out of the zone. Good work by 12. That's just size and ability there. And back comes Ames now. Work by the zone. Good four check. That's Gooding. Scrapping in the corner. Able to poke one free. 117 left in the one man advantage for Ames. 759 left in the period. Skated across now. Ames still looking to gain control. That's Borrowed again. He'll slap it out. Get it all the way to the blue line at least. One minute left now as Ames will circle and work on their one man advantage. They also lead 1 0. Great four check. Stolen. Wheels. Deals. Rolling. Just over the net. Good poke. Place track steal by Roland. The speedy one was able to get garner that one. He's back at it again and slaps it back in. 43 seconds to go as Leafs will try to kill the last 30 seconds of this one. It's Kelty and Kinney on the front line. Escape the zone. Kinney back in the zone. He sends it right back on in. Right on net. 26 seconds and counting. He's back they go. Good pressure by Kinney behind the net. Kelty as well. Too much for Ames to handle and poked right back in. Lee's playing some of their best hockey on the short-sided 
view here. Well, we, we've changed it up. We've kind of gotten away from the, uh, doing the dots, and we're, we're kind of putting pressure on getting them to get, activate quicker and get them to do something they don't want to do right away. So a uh, good change up by the coaching staff here just to do a little bit of something different. Kept in again, 636 mark, 1-0 Ames lead. Sent into the corner by Glock. And a good check right in front of us. And back comes the Leafs. That's Zimmerman. He wheels and deals. Leaves it now inside the blue line. And he leaves it for Glock. Glock will skate it. One timer. Sends one. Just to the side. Unable to gather it was Kelty. Good pressure again. Comes Ames able to fight their way all the way through the zone. Pesky worked by Glock. The left-hander from Gank Ankeny to Kelty. Back one-timer. Glock crashing on the doorstep. Great shift by the Leafs to no avail on the big board, but the 556 mark here, they look like they've weathered the storm, Coach. Yeah, they did, and, and I think and hopefully maybe that penalty kill kind of woke us up a little bit and gets us a little bit more hungry for the puck. Um, we did a very good job of forechecking, you know, just create, creating turnovers when we needed to. Now we need to do that same type of thing in five-on-five. Gooding takes the draw, one-timer. Glove saved by the Ames goaltender. We'll try it again. Just to his left, to our right, as you're looking from right to left on your YouTube screen. It's the Leafs and Blue Breezers, White Tops, gold number. That's Gooding on the draw. Hill and Springer to his left and right. That's Springer and Michael on defense. This will be whistled offside. They'll try it again. Now we've got some conversation obviously discussing grades at school absolutely within the last quarter you didn't get that grade yes i did <laughs> <laughs> well well we'll try it again 545 and counting they'll bring it all the way outside right and adjacent to the goaltender stevens gooding will tuck in shepherd and hill to his right and left that's michael and springer on defense those are your five leafs as they move right to left on the big screen in your living room tonight, if you're watching it on YouTube. Tucked in on a good pressure point by Michael. Unable to get there. Now he's got to stick on it again. Scrum and a lot of confrontation here along center ice. Now finally controlled by Springer, the left-hander. He'll skate it. Nine. One-timer. Caught traffic. Went behind the net. Gathered by Gooding. Tried to tuck it in front of Hill. Unable to get there. Pressure had pointed in. That's Gooding again behind the net. Shovels one, nifty little look to Michael. Michael will send it right back in at the five minute mark here in the first period where Ames leads 1-0. And Aero played all the way outside the zone. Tackled and confronted by the big fella, Borud. The left tackle from Southeast Polk, he plays that one right on goal. That's Shepard on a pinch. A little late to the party with the wingers for the Leafs. Now they have to try it again as Kissinger will pick this one up at the 442 mark. Tries a soft outlet to May Pop. Pospichel dumps to Roland. Roland skates and looks, gathers, point. Chance, one-timer, juicy rebound. No one to pick up the pieces, and Ames will try it again from left to right. They gather the blue line, nothing more. As Shepard's there, he'll send a ride, see if Roland can run under it. Roland can. The right-hander lays one through the slot for Pospichel. Borud follows up with a quick one of his own. This will escape the zone and Kissinger will have to gather it. Right at the four minute mark here in the first period, been a lot of Leafs, but not enough Leafs on the big board. Controlled now chopped ahead. One Leaf gathered the blue quicker than the other. We're getting an offside call and a stop and play at the 4-3 mark here in the first. Yeah, we've been, we've been you know, four checking real hard and, and um, creating some turnovers and getting some opportunities, but we haven't had great opportunities yet. And so we need to continue to, you know, pester the goaltender and we gotta, gotta, gotta have guys in position to get those rebounds. That's Hanson, Hender, and Wade on the front line. Zimmerman and McGrath on defense. Those are your five Leafs in the ice. Confronted by Zimmerman, he jostled the puck loose. Wade looks to deal. The big fella centering pass there for Beauty. Is. Good. What a play by Zimmerman, then Wade, and then Hender. And that's how we look in the scorebook as the Leaves tie this one up at one apiece. And, and that was just all, you know, with, with, with a pinch. And we actually, you know, held up the guy and got, got the man, able to pick up the puck, get it down deep, and just kind of threw it out in front um, into, into some open ice where Hendrick could just get to it, uh, beat the goalie to his glove side. Uh, so good job, good hard work uh, to manufacture that goal. Yeah, Zimmerman won a big battle. 
Left it for Wade, Wade continued on. Left it for Hender, who finished the deed. And just like that, the Leafs are tied at one apiece. 3.39 left to go in the first. It's a big goal. That's Wade again. It's a big kid, unable to get there. Chopped in, now sent, and the Ames left to control from left to right. In all black. Good four check by Hansen. Henders there as well. Back line they go, front and then again. That's Wade, he looks to gather. That's Hender, he'll dump behind. Hansen now in control on all fours. He looks to scramble and able to continue. And back they go to the wing. Good pinch by McGrath off the back of his blade. Three minutes of counting. Leafs have tied this thing up at one. Maybe settled everything down a little bit, in my opinion. They had control pretty much the whole time. The quick goal by Ames maybe made you feel a little awkward. That's Glock, the speedy one. The left-hander from Ankeny in the corner. Front of his blade. Tucks again. Back on they go. Works in front. Wants to get Glock. Pinched by Zimmerman. Checked into the corner where Kinney's the first to confront. Sent past Kinney into the corner. Good pinch and attempt by Ames as they're able to force it out of the zone. Skated and controlled and sent back where Zimmerman controls. And the one that set that last goal up plays one to Glock. He's unable to catch it. Back behind they go. Kelty's able to fetch it from behind. Comes Kelty. Behind the net he goes. Centering pass front. Kenny chops. Kelty's there as well. Unable to get a stick on it. And back comes Ames at the two minute mark. Well, McGrath looks to control. McGrath to Zimmerman. Zimmerman to McGrath. McGrath, outlet one at Kelty. Unable to catch his stick. And we'll get an icing call and a stop and play at the 146 mark. Good answer by the Leafs just a little while ago, Coach. Yeah, good answer. And we just got to stay home, you know, in our defensive positioning and making sure we don't take, you know, we don't take any chances, you know. And if we're going to pinch, we got to make sure that third guy is high coming back for that support so we're no odd man rush. Because that's what uh, Ames is looking for. They're looking for just that, you know, you'll pitch out of the defensive zone and see if we can catch us off guard. Kept in by Ames. Slot. They look again, kicked aside by Stevens, gathered by Michael and sent into the corner. Hill joins the fray now, sends it all the way back around. Springer closest to it, confronted again by Spikers. The corner slot chance, it's a pretty good look there. Hill able to guide it to the blue line, but no further and dumped back in again by Ames. Looking to have their way with a minute left to go on this one. Front shoveling pass, Stevens pulls the short side down with his shoulder. Now back to the point they go. All aims right now. Their best flurry of the game. Corner slot. Able to get it. Nobody there to pick it up. Able to give him a backhander. Awkward look here late. Given up by the Leafs. They'll choke. Finally send it out of the zone and all the way back down. We'll get a nice and call to stop and play. The Leafs could switch at the 55 second mark. One across the board in this one. Yeah, we just had struggles of just getting it out and just making a clean play and, make, and finding each other. And then when there was a loose puck, we, we were hesitant to, to, to activate. And so we just got to get on our toes and, 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 you know, limit their time and space and, and, and work through making more time and space for ourselves. That's Hanson on the draw. That's Roland on the draw. Roland will skate it now. Sees Shepard, Scott Shepard momentarily. Stolen by Ames, now the control it confronted by Borrowood. Now we got an odd man. Good back check by Kissinger as he's still there. Rubbing his man off. Good work by 18. Controlled off the back of the blade momentarily by Shepard. Giving up again. Leafs looking to break the zone here late in this last two minutes of this one. In the game they've controlled for the most part the whole way, except for a one-man break by Ames. There come the Leafs. They'll try it again. Shepard, he'll send it in on a dump and chase. 15, 14 seconds to go. The big fella, Borud, pinches it off with authority. Now giving up in the blue line. One on one. Swiped on and missed. Look out. Chance. Taken off the puck. One okay. second left, and that will end the very first period, but I believe it will end with a penalty, Coach. It will end up with uh, uh, Ames getting a penalty for interference. He, he was chasing the puck, you know, and then not, and before he got to the puck to, to activate there, uh, knocked our guy off, and so he'll get an interference call. So we'll start the second period with a two-minute uh, power play, uh, which will be beneficial to us and a good way to start. Mm -hmm. 
you know, looking at our power play right now, you know, we're we're sitting in the middle of the pack at number nine, uh, converting on about nine percent of, of our uh, opportunities. Uh, where you know Ames is sitting in 12th in the penalty kill, so this, this is somewhere we can take advantage of. Um, it'll be interesting to see. You know, Cooker's not dressed in JV uh, here, and is normally kind of uh, the quarterback of our power play uh, to see kind of what the new setup is for. Uh, who's, who's controlling that power play, who's up top, who's down below, um, and, and see what we do here and a little bit of a change there and the change of the lineup. One-to-one -one here. So we're just going to drop the puck here in the second period. Leafs going to start on that five-on-four Ankeny Auto body power play. Kind of had it finished at the end of last period. You don't see that a lot. Right. It's the very last seconds. I mean, the, the very first two minutes of this one without a second to spare will be the Leafs on a power play. So I'd imagine that Ames, you know, they're, they're I think happy with that first period and the way what they were able to do, uh, not giving up a heck of a lot and being able to be a 1-1 game here. And I think the Oak Leafs are more, uh, would be more disappointed in that first period uh, being able to give up that one, you know. And, and so we just got to clean, clean it up a little bit, uh, limit our odd man rushes that we give up. And if we, if we don't do that, we may have the same result at the end of two. But, uh, you know, I'm sure that they're over there talking about it and, and uh, uh, working on those things and just, you know, the, the recognition, you know, and recognition and anticipation. Those are the two key words I always wrote up on the whiteboard in the locker room uh, for, for this game, you know. Left to right, they'll come, the Leafs. They have a one-man advantage. Ankeny auto body power play. It's Roland, Shepard, and Pospisil on the front line. It's Michael and Borden on defense. Those are your five Leafs on the ice. Got two minutes to work with with a one-man advantage. Game is locked at one. We're just starting the second. Comes May Pop. Johnston, sophomore. Wheels. He'll set it up to the point to Michael. He'll stop and look. Pirouette surveyed himself now. He'll take it low. Send it all the way down to May Pop again. May Pop turns. He'll send it all the way back around the boards. 130 left to go on the one man advantage to the, cor to the corner. Centering pass. They wanted Pospa show in front. This looks like it'll escape the zone. Board able to tuck it in on a good effort. Board one timer. Shoulder. One quick chance there for the Leafs to gather a juicy rebound there, unable to get it. Now they go to work on their right wing as you work from left to right. Pospisil looks, sends it into the net just on the east entrance sign here. We'll get a stop and play. 106 left to go in the one man advantage for the Leafs. 1406 left to go in the second period. I do like it, you know, setting up behind the net. That is one is an effective way I like always for the power play. Then you can draw everybody down and then see if you can find a defenseman streaking down the slot or uh, down on the back door somewhere. Kenny, Kelty, and Glock will enter on the front line. Borward and Michael will remain in defense. Those are your five Ankeny auto body. Power play participants, if you will. One to one game here. Kelty will take the draw. He'll send it all the way in. Back of the blade, now Kelty's on it again to the point. Michael wanted Kenny in the corner over borrowed. Back in the corner they go. Ames looks to send it in. Borod able to pinch it in. Good effort by Borod. Sent all the way back where Kelty looks to dance in the corner. Glock looks to steal the puck, now controlled by Ames. Able to skate it, get it outside the zone, and now Michael will have to fetch it with 39 seconds to go. See if the Leafs can set it up. Gets it to Kinney along the boards. Kinney sends it along to Borod. Borod, chopper into the air, gathered and controlled. Now controlled on a good poke by Kinney, unable to get it. Leafs unable to set another one up. Borud checks, center line, send it back in. Ames able to control it. 18 seconds and counting, and a fluttering on the corner where Stevens will gather and control behind his own net. This is Borud. Outlet, and there's no one there to pick up the pieces. Six seconds left in the one-man advantage. It'll be a defensive zone faceoff for the Leafs. Only six seconds left to go on the power play. Yeah, and that last one, you know, it was just too much vertical skating. We need to get horizontal and support your D going across the ice. That's a hard pass to convert um, and get on the same page. And so, you know, looking for, you know, get across the ice, open it up, and then and then go across um, on the on the near side. 
Hansen on the draw, sent all the way back down. Both teams now are at full strength. Sent back in, Lee's look to control. That's Zimmerman, the right-hander from Urbandale, the junior. He'll quarterback it, survey it, and set sail. Sim to the point, sends to McGrath. McGrath to the red line, he'll dump it in, just off goal. Leafs look to pinch. That's Wade closest to it. Confronts, kicked all the way around to the right board. Now sent on a good catch by Ames. It's a one-on-one -on -one for McGrath to pick up. They're free and easy, look out. Just missed Stevens to the glove side. Looked like they got a shot on it, maybe didn't have control enough, but again, that's kind of the break that happened in the first period that resulted in the first goal for Ames. Confronted by Wade, controlled by Zimmerman. No one able to force it out. Now given up in, in their own zone, and Stevens thinks better of it. He'll smother it. He'll force a defensive zone faceoff. It'll happen to his right at the 12-08 mark here in the second period. Yeah, communication is just off right now. You know, we're just not on, on the same page with each other. We're, you know, we look at a one-on-one -on -one battle and, and, you know, let your guy just, you know, win that one-on-one -on -one battle before you go help. Because when you go help, then all of a sudden you got two guys there and now you have nowhere to go with the puck. It's Michael. Plays all the way around Springer. Unable to get it. Not controlled and sent behind the net. Gathered again by Michael. Confronted by Hill. Leafs look to get it out of the zone. To the corner it goes. Able to break it to the point, but no more. Now Hill's able to force it through. Good pesky effort by Hill. It's good sick by Hill, able to force that thing through the second blue line, but now back comes Ames on a three on two. Good confrontation by Springer. Front of the net, good effort by Ames. Good shot on goal, good save by Stevens. Front, kept in off the back of the blade by that same defenseman. Now gathered and controlled, and here comes Gooding. Gooding looks to dance. He's able to thwart the first effort. Here he comes. Shot and goal just impeded at the very last second. Pasvichel now looks, gathers Pass. Slot looks, just missed that net high into his right. Good control by Pop, but he'll be able to make it happen. Slot again, Pop finds the center of the goaltender. We'll get another stop and play. 11 a one mark here in the first. And, and that's a good job by uh, uh, Mason, you know, going down, getting to that half board, and recognizing that there's nobody there going on the top of the circles. You hit that thing as hard as you can, get into that scoring lane, and then get a shot as hard as you can, off, you know, low on the ice, and then everybody's crashing looking for that rebound. It's Roland Shepard and Poster on the front line. It's Kissinger and Borut on defense. Those are your five Leafs on the ice as they move from left to right. Hayden Stevens is the goaltender. 1-1 one, one game in Ames. 10.58 and counting here in the second period. Controlled in the corner, now behind the net. Left for Shepard. Tucked back in where Roland fetches. Goes to work off the back front of his blade. Pasvichel joins the fray. May Pop, one-timer. Front chance! Good extra look by Pop. Has man on the short side. Good extra pass and able to make it happen. Throw it in by Kissinger. Pop, one-timer. That caught the net in front, deflected over, still in play. They try to play it to the point, Eames, Eames into rest. Good pressure by the Leafs, where Kissinger controls now. Sends it to the blue line, now the red. Here they come, Shep, one-timer. Short shot in the corner, confronted by Roland. Good check into the corner, trying to force it loose. Pospisil's there as well. That's Shepard. One-timer, you want to pop in the front of the net. Looked like the boys trying to set something up, unable to do it. 10-minute mark here in the second period. One, tucked in, short side, chance. Sprawling effort by the Leafs. That's Pospisil that went in late. One time by Kissinger, he's there as well. Board looks to pitch. That's Shepard as well. Dances in the corner. Behind the net they go. Now finally smothered in duress by the Ames goaltender. Great shift by the Leafs. Looks like they had something going just not enough to make a difference in the big board, Coach. Yeah, and they were, they were able to just kind of make a little bit of flurries here and there. Uh, you know, there's a couple times I think if one extra more stride, just to get a little bit more in that scoring area uh, to take that shot would have been a little bit better, but uh, at least we're, we're on the same page, at, at least for this shift. Sent into the corner. It's Kinney on the puck. Sends it behind the net where Glock engages. Glock now in the corner. Circles look, front of the net. Gathered, back of the blade by Kinney. He looks as well, and back. He'll stop and look, he'll gather. 
sent behind the net. Centering pass, he won a Glock. Good look. Just intercepted at the last minute. McGrath on a good pinch. All, it's all Leafs right now in the second period. All the way to the red line now. Ames able to escape the zone. 9-10 mark. Gathering sent off the boards by Zimmerman. Confronted. Where Zim continues to wrestle, win the battle. He'll send it to where Glock wants Kelty. They're unable to break the zone. Stabbed again by Zimmerman. Controlled by Kinney as he sends it wide along the blue line. Kinney now. Taken off the puck but gets it to Kelty. Controlled by the Ames defenseman. Tapped in, now stolen. That's Kelty. One-timer, post. And able to get there. Kinney as well, Glock oh, also. Oh. And they got one. At the 840 mark here in the first, the Leafs take a 2-1 lead on nothing but sheer effort, Coach. Yeah, that was an all-effort goal right there. You know, it all started going into the offensive zone and, and you know, just playing that one-on-one -on -one battle, um, being able to just continue to push that puck, and then, you know, your teammate comes up, recognizes, uh, anticipates that happening, and gets, it, gets a nice shot, gets off the, gets off the uh, post, but then we're hungry for that rebound, you know, and so we're able to bury it and get that 2-1 two, two, lead. Uh, hopefully every line's looking at that, and that's what they're talking about. Just keep after it, guys. Keep after it. It was a pestering effort. They took the 2-1 lead, and the Leafs needed it. We're at the halfway point here in this one. 2-1 lead. Looking for someone to take over. The Leafs able to do it. Tapped into the corner. Here's McGrath. Skates it. All the way to Hender. Hender gathers and takes it in. Wanted Wade, who was just crossing. Now Wade confronts and gathers. Hansen joins the fray. Wade joins it as well. Scrum ensues to the left of the goaltender. Just past the skit stick of Zimmerman. Now sent back in. Now awkward bounce where the Ames goaltender forced to jump up. But I tell you what, that's something you don't count on. That yeah. thing came off the corner. Got right into the front of the net. He was able to save it at the 7.51 mark. Stop and play. Yeah, he had, he had his uh, goalie stick, you know, at the wrong angle, and and wanted to get, you know, play it behind the net, slow it down, and, and get it behind the net, but it kind of popped up and and fell in his lap. So uh, just keep putting pressure on, keep talking, keep communicating. Hansen kept in nicely by Michael. Now sent outside of the zone by Ames at the 7:44 mark. They go to work behind the net. Got a short side opportunity. They're still there. Tucked in front. Great late stick there. I believe that was Michael that did that. Here comes Hanson. Wheels, deals. Sends a nice one to Wade. The big fella. Scrambles. Front of the net. Still there. Chance. Short side. Unable to capitalize. Good work by Hanson and Wade to force the issue there. 7-19 and counting here in the second period. The Leafs have finally taken the lead after dominating much and most of this one midway through the second period. The Ames look to escape the zone. He'll send it to the red now, gathered by Michael. He'll stop, look, check it, send it to Hill. Hill confronted by Gooding. Now Hill off the back of his blade will shovel it to the red line. Running under it is Spikers. One-timer, good shot. Almost had the five hole. One time again, Spikers is there again, just missed it. Michaels thinks better of it, he'll regather, take it to the red line, shovel it back in. Good look by the Leafs there, 639 and counting. Again, it's been all Leafs for a lot of this one. Only 2-1 on the big board. Gathered and skated by Michael. The Roosevelt right-hander sends it in, catches most of his teammates on the way by. <laughs> we'll get a stop and play at the 625 mark here in the second period, 2-1 Leafs. Yeah, the big thing right now is just make sure that we take, limit the time and space of the Ains players and and uh, continue to attack. And, and you know, even if you don't get there, get there as fast as you can. To get them to do something they don't want to do, uh, and, and that's where it creates those turnovers. Roland Shepard and Pospisil on the front line. That's Kissinger and Boru in the defense. Those are your five Leafs in the ice as they look to break the zone. Kept in by Ames, now controlled by Kissinger. He'll circle and try it again and quarterback it from left to right. Send it all the way hard along the glass. Shepard looks to control and able to, giving up. Just inside the defensive zone. A poke just outside the blue line. And finally gathered and controlled by the Leafs. They'll try it from left to right. 
They'll skate it. That's pass for show. Able to control it from the red. Pop on the blue. Pop on the right wing. Pop look, centering pass. Wanted Shepard. Held it to the last second. Good late look by Mason. Unable to make it happen. That's rolling now with a head of steam. They got numbers if they hurry. Pass for show gathers the puck. He'll take it inside the blue. Sent on all fours and now actually to his back. Scrum ensues to the right of the goaltender for Ames. They're able to control it. Send it all the way behind their own net. And they've got numbers if they look to exploit it. They're unable to. Tap to the blue line at best and gather it on a good back check by Rowland. Now he'll gather and look at well. Unable to get there. Forward with the puck. Sends it to his linemate, Kissinger. Looks to gather and unable to do so. Stolen momentarily. Confronted, stolen by Borud. A good nifty, nifty body and backhand work. And now back comes the Leafs. In the corner they go. Sent in on a good head of steam. Trapped and sent into the corner. To the right of the goal. Turn out Glock between his feet. Front of the net. Nifty look. Unable to get there and checked and finally sent off the back of the blade on an aerial. A spiraling aerial where Stevens will pause, let that one go. Icing call, bring it all the way back down this way. At the 4.32 mark here, 2-1 lead for the Leafs. And a stop and play. Yeah, in our offensive zone, we're, we're getting some chances going through through the zone. We're trying to find guys, but they, the guys that are receiving the puck, you got to make sure that that lane is there, and you got to get in that right position. I think we're over skating the lane, and, and, and then it just causes it to, to find traffic. Front, that's Kelty along the wing. Kelty looks, centers one in. Checked by Kenny, front again. Sent ahead to the net. Good battle won by Kenny, good centering pass to Kelty. Leafs looking to attack this one on. They get another offensive zone faceoff. Now in fact, they'll take it outside the blue line, left and adjacent to the goaltender for the Ames Cyclones. Kelty will take the draw, Kenny to his right, Glock to his left. McGrath and Zimmerman on defense. There are five Leafs on the ice, 418 left to go here. In the second period, Leafs lead two to one. Checked and poked in by McGrath. Controlled by Ames. Almost confronted and stolen by Glock. He had the goal ahead goal. It's Quinn Glock, the left-hander. Slapped by McGrath. Poked ahead and furthermore by Kinney. Now right along the Oak Leafs bench, Ames able to escape the zone, send to the red line. Checked all the way to the corner. Poked out a good pesky effort by Kelty to keep it going. McGrath wants an outlet to Glock. Caught the official's legs, unable to control it. And back they go. Sent now to center ice. Controlled and spirited by Kelty. Looks to skate it. Waits for his line mates. He's got it. Sends one to the glove side with two crashing. Another good effort, but to no avail. We're going to stop and play. 326 left to go here. In the second period, 2-1 Leafs. Yeah, I, I think this period so far, we've been a lot more feistier than the other team and and uh, creating a little bit of turnovers and, and not giving free lanes to, to our end. And as long as we continue to do that, I think it will pay dividends for us in, in the later parts of this game. Defensive zone faceoff for Ames. Look to get it out. Wade, one-timer, caught traffic. Sent back now. Now have to fetch it. That's Springer. A left-hander. He'll play it wide where Wade will gather. Wade off the back of his blade. Now taking off the puck just inside the blue line. Scrum ensues just inside the offensive zone for Ames. Where Hender looks to control behind those zone net. Wade now will look and survey. Unable to get it out until Michael Abel off the back of his blade on a good feed to Hender. And here he comes. The senior, the right-hander from Ankeny. Snapper and a good one just to the low side, stick side, just missed it. Checked and controlled by Michael, but now fought on to center ice on a good pesky effort by the Ames wingers. So they're able to continue on. Hender still there. The right-hander from Ankeny. Slot, chance, look, Hender. One-timer, glove save. Poked off the glove, deflected to the left side. Now sent in by Michael. Nice choppy bounce off the boards. No one able to do anything with it. 2.15 left to go in the second period and sent in on a whistler and the Leafs will look to dump and change again. That's Gooding closest to the puck. Borwood, quick one. Hill is in the slot. Borwood sent one blazing by. The rebound sends Ames free and easy along the wing. 
as they look to gather. They poke it in. They poked it in too quickly. We'll get a stop and play at the 153 mark here in the second period. Yeah, just missing the opportunity. Spikers did a great job. He, went, he flew from the bench and was going hard into the corner and was able to create a little bit of turnover. Just, it, it, it was just his speed going there that rattled the Ains player, made a little bit of a turnover. Uh, we just weren't able to put the puck on the net. It's Gooding Hill and Spikers on the front line. This is Spikers able to send it on in. It's kissing and Borden on defense. Those are your five leaves in the ice. As they move left to right in Blue Breezers, White Tops, Gold Numbers. With a 2-1 lead, minute and a half left to go in the second period. Sent all the way back around. Good confrontation by Spikers. Puck there if anybody wants it. No one able to gather it. Now sent all the way to the red line. Two on one if Ames can hustle. Good work by Kissinger to get back over there. Good fetch by Gooding. Outlet pass to Spikers. To the red line, Spikers asked for the blue, the left-hander, unable to get there. Caught traffic in front. Scrum ensues just inside the offensive zone. Sender to pass. One chance. May Pop left that one off the top of the net. Good feed by Shepard off the back of his blade to Pasvichel. Caught and deflected and sent over the goaltender frame. Stop and play at the 103 mark. Yeah, this last shift, I was kind of watching Jack Gooding play and, and just, you know, seeing what he was doing, and he was just all over the place, just, you know, causing havoc and getting guys off the puck and taking away time and space, and a uh, good job by that young man. Draw one, controlled by McGrath. Setting out track. One timer, Roland. He got him! Roland found the stick side. Off a kind of an awkward rebound, if you will. Well, Came all the way around, just past almost to the curling lines here, and Roland buried it. 3 1 Leafs. That's a big goal. Well, I think what happened was the goalie, you know, was coming across, you know, going to his left because uh, Roland was going to his left. Roland got it and kind of shot it back to the right, looking for a rebound. Maybe that'll come out to the, to the middle a little bit uh, and caught the goalie kind of in the backside. Um, you know, so good job just throwing it on net. 3 1 Leafs. 53 seconds to go here in the second period looking to distance themselves. Back in the corner goes. That's controlled by Roland. Now poked a little further. Here comes Roland again. The right-hander with speed to the corner. Roland looks, circles, wraps, considers, stops, leaves it in the point to McGrath. Tries sending in the pasta shell. Just over pass, stick. Centering pass again. Back in the corner, Shepard won a pasta shell again. Now that's May Pop again. Centering pass to Beauty, and he got it. That's Roland from Pasterschel, and the Leafs have now taken a commanding 4-1 lead at the 16-second mark here in the second. That was a good example of how you cycle the puck around. You kind of move it around. You go behind the net. You put it back in the corner. Uh, you know, and then when you when the guy creases and comes across the top of the circle, that's what you're looking for. And you're trying to get somebody to activate. And once they move, you know when that pass is coming, you have a free lane to the net. That's exactly uh, the way you draw it up. Uh, and they executed it very, very well. 4-1 Leafs. 16 seconds left to go here in the second period. Jumped on him quickly. It's Kenny Kelty and Glock on the front line. It's Michael and Board on defense. As they're going to run this period out just inside the defensive zone of the Leafs. And just like that, the Leafs jumped up 4-1. to one. Good effort by the Leafs in that period. They won it, distance themselves, Coach. Yeah, they, you didn't want to leave this period in a tie game and give, give uh, Ames any belief or any confidence going into the locker room. Um, so it's a big hill for Ames to come back and, and climb from. But again, we can't be on our heels either. We just got to continue to play our game and, and continue to attack, continue to take away time and space, you know, do everything fast. Um, if you do those things, uh, you're going to like the result at the end of the day. So so at the end of two periods, the Oak Leafs lead 4-1. to one. We'll get a scrape. Be back for the third and final. Dan Kinney and your way. Thanks for joining us on a cold blizzardy afternoon here. Cyclones in town.
Ready, bud? Yep. All right, back up and at him. Third and final period. 4-1 Leafs lead. JV action. Team Cyclones in town. Andrew, heck of a second period for the boys. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and uh, you know, going back to the first period, you know, Ames drew first blood, and then we had four unanswered goals yeah. uh, to answer with uh, Jason Hender from Dominic Wade and, and Ethan Zimmerman. And then the second period, kind of the floodgates opened where we got two late, uh, but then Quinn Black got one with uh, from Will Kilty, and then Tyler Rowan from Luke McGrath, and then Rowan came back probably 30 seconds later uh, from Mason Pachapella and, and Hunter Shepard. And that uh, fourth goal was a beauty of a goal. Just kind of a good effort work from all three guys. Certainly was. 4-1 lead. They start the third and final. They work from right to left in gold. Bre Blue Breezers, white tops and gold numbers. Aims in all black, outlined in orange. Stolen now. Front, chance. Good quick shot again by Shepard. As he goes to work in the corner. Fandapon now sends it behind the net to Roland, unable to gather. Pasta Shell will pick up the pieces in the corner. Pop behind his net to Shepard. Centering pass, one-timer. Still there off the back of the blade. Trouble in front. Great chances. Goaltender looked like he was in much deray. Now we get a two-on-one as they look to go wide. Broken up on a nifty play by Zimmerman. He controls. Missed the pass on the outlet, but the 14-10 mark here in the first period still four to one Leafs. Boy, that's the way you open a period, Coach. It's a good way to open up the period, but then on the back end of that shift, you know, we, we gave up an odd man rush, and it's, it's, it's when we, we step, we're not picking up the guy, we're not picking up the puck. We're reaching for the puck, we miss, they deke around us, and we don't we don't take the guy. We, we gotta get that fixed as we, as we move forward, even in this game, but as we move forward in the season. Defensive zone faceoff. Checked off the board by Borud. Now sent just near the Oak Leafs locker room. It's Kenny Kelty and Glock on the front line. Borud and Kissinger on defense. Those are your five Leafs in the ice as he moved right to left with a 4-1 lead at 14 minute mark. Here in the third and final, Kelty on the draw. Kicked ahead now. Glock engages. Joined by Borud with confrontation. Sent to Kissinger. Wrapped around where Kenny engages. That's Kissinger unable to clear the zone. Left dangerously in front. Staff now sent behind the net. Rames looks to control along their right wing. Slider in front and a good one. Controlled by Glock. Glock will send it to Kelty and Kelty will skate the blue. Kelty will take it to the red. Now he'll gather it again. Will the thrill. Gathers looks, loses it. Leaves it just inside the blue line and back comes Ames. Confronted on another good play by Borut. Kelty now goes to work in the corner. Trying to dig it out. Checked all the way and sent back around. Board will gather. Send it. Caught Kelty, I believe. Glock in the face, it looked like. Looked like that shot from the point might have caught Glock right in the ear. I think I had him on the back of the back of the head. Just Awkward the, look. Yep. It's a kind of a bell ringer for him. Yeah. It'll wake him up. It'll wake him up, Jeff. That'll wake a kid up. <laughs> Man. That's what I thought it was the ear, yeah. Jeff Glock to my left running the camera. You saw Cade took dead aim at his son's left ear. And that's not a light puck from Bullard. No, it's a heavy. <laughs> it's like a guy that throws a heavy pitch in baseball like Kurt Chilling. That thing has some gravity to it. Back come the Leafs. Hanson chases. Now tapped in and sent in further. Hanson still on the puck in the corner as he works along the right wing. Stolen kept in. Good pesky effort off the point there by Wade. Unable to continue on. Tapped in again on a good play by the point. Hinder one-timer with Wade crashing. Good extra look by Hinder. Good persistency by Wade along the wing. Offensive zone faceoff and a stop and play at the 12-31 mark here. I know, the there, third. Was, I know there was some adjustments some, uh, of the lines, and I kind of like the, the, kind of the way the lines have been working together. You know, we've had scoring from, all th from three of the four lines, and, and uh, they're, they're really gelling together. Back of the blade. That was Wade. The right-hander. Hender short side, just missed it. Off the stick side of the goaltender. Good quick shot by Jason. He's the senior elder Hender. Wade, one-timer. Confronted just before he could get that shot off. Now Hanson looks to work as well. Played along the boards, now shoveled to himself. They're able to break the zone. His Ames looks to control, they poke it out. Now they'll take it wide. One-timer and they <sighs> got him. 
just as they entered the zone. No ice had been scraped in front of our goaltender. Great shot by the Ames defenseman. He entered, beat Stevens over his shoulder into the left side. It's a 4 2 game. Yeah, that, that, I'm going to tell you that was a, that was a beautiful shot by uh, sure number was. 28 Linder uh, coming in, just, you know, getting up in, the, you know, in between the, the uh, circles in the, in the blue line and just uh, was able to up rifle it, so. Looks like we're gonna get a change in goalie. Is that, is that Evans or Zimmerman over there? It's Ev Evans. Evans has entered for the Leafs. Controlled and sent in now by Gooding. Trapped in. At least we just made a change at goalie. Just right around the 12 minute mark here in the third and final, they lead four to two. Here comes Ames. So Jack Evans enters the goal. Confronted by McGrath. Are they gonna say McGrath did something there? Looks like we have an interference call. It happened here in the- uh, Oh, okay, cause in, that McGrath had a good zone. hit. Yep. That was a good hit. It was on the front end here on the offensive zone. Uh, took a guy before, you know, before we got it able to get to the puck. Not sure on uh, Stevens. I don't think they pulled him. I, he, I saw him go to the bench, and I don't know if there's some equipment uh, issue where you need to go to the locker room to get things fixed or what have you, but that's, I think that's the reason yeah. Evans is in. So we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get an update. Something. So the Leafs will go five on four. Be a rise pest control penalty kill, and Kelty is the center, and he sends it and forwards it furthermore. This is Pospichel. Pospichel sends it in. Board and Michael are the other two defensemen. Those are your rise pest control penalty killers. They got 144 left in the penalty, 11-13 left to go in the period. Leafs lead 4-2. Controlled by Ames. Sent all the way to the red line. Now they're free and easy. Look out. Evans with a good save. save Tough to Jack. just walk off the bench and make a save. Thank God that one was in the sternum, Coach. Right. Well, and you do want him to get a few shots, you know, yeah. you know, not, not stand around for a little bit, uh, uh, but maybe not that, maybe not that shot. Defensive zone faceoff. Kelty controls the draw. Kelty looks to force it out. A possible show joins the phrase, able to get enough on it to get outside the blue line. One eighteen left to go. In the one man advantage. Ames controls now behind their own net. They'll skate it. They'll send it to the red line. They'll dump it. Now they'll take it to the blue. Now they're in the slot. Caught traffic in front. Controlled and sent by Borud to the point. Got it out of the point. And controlled by Ames will try it again. They get 56 seconds to set this one up. Pretty pivotal point in this game. 4-2 lead. One man advantage for Ames. You want to thwart this effort. Salt this one away. And Borud does his best to send that little fellow all the way down. Leafs will get a change. 38 seconds left to kill on the penalty. It's like Shepard and Roland now have entered the fray. The front men, McGrath and Michael on defense as your four Leafs on the ice. Controlled by Michael. Now Shepard has it as well. Shepard front, gonna take a shot. Unable to get there. Controlled now in a two on two. By Ames, they take it wide into the right. They look to circle. Good confrontation by McGrath. Sends his man, takes his man, and the puck. He's still there. Two guys on him. Now finally controlled by Ames. Now they're dangerously losing front. Short side, they got Evans on the glove side. Sloppy turnover behind the net by the Leafs. And just like that, the 9.28 mark here in the third and final, 4-3. Leafs still holding on to a lead. Yeah, like I said, at the end of the second period, you know, it's nice going in with the 4-1 with the lead, but uh, you, you can't be on your heels. And we've been caught kind of on our heels, and then we had, you know, uh, uh, basically a, a power play or a penalty kill, um, and they got them an opportunity. So you're, uh, Ames is building life, you know, and they're, they're getting life and they're yeah. getting that confidence. So hopefully we can respond uh, with a goal of our own right now. That's bored with the puck. Kinney, Kelty, and Glock on the front line. Borud and Kissinger on defense. Those are your five Leafs in the ice. As they go to work on their offensive zone. 
confronted, not controlled, and stolen by Glock. Glock looks in the corner, sends it all the way to the point to Kissinger. Kissinger, one-timer. It'll escape all the way upon the, the zone. Or Borwood plays a popper into the air. Still in the air. Controlled between his feet. Tapped and sent back in, and the Leafs will go to work in the gate 55 mark here in the third and final. Borwood on a pinch. Sends it all the way back around. Sent back behind the net where Borwood's got it again. That's into the air and into the rafters, and that'll come down just to the net and behind the goal. We'll get an offensive zone faceoff at the 844 mark here in the third and final. Yeah, we, we got to get a little bit more pressure on this goaltender. We, you know, just firing shots, uh, but we got to you know, make sure that we're working with each other and, and uh, knowing when those shots are coming, recognizing so you have that second opportunity to, uh, for the rebounds. Offensive zone faceoff. That's Borwood. One timer. Whistles over the goaltender's glove hand. Confronted by Kissinger. Kept in momentarily. Escapes the zone. Now we got an odd man. Along the wing. Nice work. Steered aside by Evans. Borwood tries to get to Hender to outlet. Unable to get there. Front of now stolen. Tapped by Wade. Controlled now skated by Hansen as he forces his way to the red line. Confronted by Wade on a nice check. Frees the puck up. Sent back into the offensive zone. Eight minute mark here in the third and final. Leafs lead four to three. Ames looks to break the zone. They're able to grab it and send it to the wing. They also come right on net to Evans. He'll watch this one come aside. We'll get an icing call and a stop and play at the 7.55 mark here in the third period. Yeah, so Ames has got two unanswered goals right now, and we need to answer. We need to come in and uh, be able to put something on net uh, and give us an, a clear opportunity. Uh, we had a couple uh, that we couldn't convert on, but uh, we just got to keep going to the grind, be first man to the puck, you know, win the one-on-one -on -one battles, you know, do the little things. Gooding on the draw. Springer on the point here. He looks to send it in. Spikers goes to work as well. That's Hill now confronts, unable to get there. Controlled by Ames, but the Leafs continue to put on pressure. 7.40 and counting here in the third. Behind the net they go. They'll send it over to the left wing. They'll continue on. Good confrontation there. Freeing up the puck. Leafs swiping at it, sending it behind the net. Ames having all kinds of trouble getting out of their zone. They're finally able to play an aerial where Springer will run under this one. And 15 will look and stop and quarterback it. Send it to the point, given up. Confronted as he gave it up. Ames looks hungry all of a sudden in their offensive zone. Sent in, unable to clear the zone. In front of that snapper, one time, that was a good save by Evans, because that was a sneaky good backhand that had drifted into yep. the slot. Stop and play at the 7.02 mark. I don't know if Jack knew that was coming, Coach. Well, that, that's a good you know shot to take. You, you know, go on your backhand because the goalies don't expect it. You know, they think everything's going to, you know, they're going to try and transition to get everything on your forehand. A lot of players try to do that, and it takes more time. Just take that quick, hard uh, backhand, and it, sometimes it catches the goalie off guard. Defensive zone faceoff for the Leafs. To the left of Jack Evans, the goaltender. Sent around by Zimmerman, and they got Pospisil free along the wing. May pop. Sent and ridden off the puck behind the net. Sent all the way to the wing. Confronted where Zimmerman looks to pinch. Played back by Pospisil. Sent back in. Controlled, sent behind the net, that's Gooding. Still there, that's Roland. Roland stops, leaves it. Chance McGrath, unable to get there. Shepard goes to work off the back of his blade. Trapped along the boards, Pospisil joins the fray. Freed up, Pospisil, short side. Kicked aside by the goaltender. To the left of the goaltender now a scrum ensues in the offensive zone for the Leafs. They got a whistle, kind of an awkward whistle on a stop and, stop and play. Looked like the puck might have been stuck over there, coach, maybe? Might have been stuck, uh, you know, but uh, who knows? Yeah. You know. Hey, but a uh, good transition on this first line here with uh, Pachapel and Roland really flying around and, and see if they can't get Shepard to you know, be in that high slot area, find him and maybe find somebody back door. Borud, one timer, juicy rebound, unable to pick up the pieces. Good pinch again by Cade to keep it in. Not controlled and sent out 
just outside the zone. Scrappy effort by Shepard, not controlled by Roland along the wing. Roland leads it where the defenseman frames will control it. We'll get another whistle and a stop and play, and we're going to get someone doing something wrong. Yeah, so we got number 12 from uh, Ames coming in, you know, get, delivered a check, but his arms were up and got an elbow. So he'll go to the send bin for the next two minutes, which puts us up on the power play. And, and hopefully we can set things up and, and convert on our power play, just like Ames did on theirs, uh, to get this thing to a 5-3 and break up the uh, uh, Ames' momentum. Kenny Kelting Glock on the front line. It's Michael and Borud. Borud shovels one just through the slot. Kenny looked like he had the last swipe at it. It's Kenny in the corner, centering pass, a beauty! Five hole, man, what a shot by Glock on a feed by Kenny. Offensive zone, face off for the least, 148 left to go. And, and that's a correct shot by Glock right there. You know, you, you just want to see that thing and get that uh, on net as quickly as possible. If you got a little bit more mustard on it, it might have been able to get all the way through the, the five hole. Kelty on the face off. He controls along the left wing. Sends it behind the net. Stops and looks. Now he'll send it back to Kelty, who's also behind the net. His Leafs look to set up with 136 left to go. Behind the net they go. It's Kinney. One timer to Glock, unable to get there. Confronted again. Front of the net, shoveled in front. Kelty just missed. Kinney sends it back behind the net. Working doing low and dirty. That's Glock. Michael. Slot. One timer. That escaped the zone. Good catch by Kelty, sails on all fours. Pinched in by Borland momentarily, now he's able to escape the zone. Nasty little power play there for the Leafs, unable to pay dividends, coach. Yeah, but right now we're gonna be going on to a five on three, and so we'll be five on three for a minute 11, which gives you a lot of time and space, you know, setting things up and, and try to get Ames to, to get out of position, get them to try to attack and leave and find something back door. So it's gotta be something cross ice that you're gonna, you know, if you, if you continue to play it down low like you have been, you know, get it down the corner, and you're going to want to look for that opposite D streaking down in, in the slot area, a nice quick shot. Roland will take the draw. Left in control by Ames. Get outside the zone. Gathered by Shepard. Too, too many get loose the on the other side of the blue line. We'll get a nice run offsides call. We'll bring it right outside the blue line, right in adjacent to the goaltender for the Ames Cyclones. Five minutes left in this one. Two penalties lined up on the boards. Five on three. Two-man advantage for the Leafs. As Ames look to break the zone. Caught by Shepard. One-timer to Pospisil. That was a great feed and a great shot. And even better yet, a great save. Great save, yeah. Um, so, you know, Good setup. Uh, we just got to, you know, now win this face off here and then get things set up, move the puck around, and see if we can get a goal in this 52 seconds because that gives us another minute of a power play five on four. So, you know, we, we really need to get something here in the next 52. To the point to Michael. Kicked outside the zone, barely outside the blue line. Pass Gabriel by the forward. Good play by Boru. This is shell. He'll skate it. Along the wing, he'll stop and look, gather himself behind the net and quarterback it from behind the opposition's net. That's Shepard. He'll turn to pirouette as well. 25 seconds on one penalty, 112 on the other. It's five on three, we need some shots, boys. Centering pass, unable to get their set. Board front, chopped one through. Tapped in on a good play by Michael. Gathered by Shepard, left in the front where Pospisil fans on it. Sent to the point, Borud, look out, rocket. And it was, just over the goaltender's six side, enough to where it brings it all the way back down. Tor Evans will check it. Now it's a five on four. 43 seconds left to go on the one man advantage. Skated in by the Leafs. All the way in the corner. That was Zimmerman. Still there. As Wade stands guard. Controlled by Hansen. Hansen stops, looks, wanted to get it to Wade. Hansen again, Wade behind the net. Now Wade looks to gather it as well. Confronted to the left and over the shoulder of the goaltender for Ames. 13 seconds left in the one man advantage. Chopped again into the corner. Sitting behind. Sticks flying. That's Wade behind the net. Looks to wheel and deal. Still there. Confronted. 
taken off the puck, sends it in the corner. Both teams full strength now. That's Hanson to the point to McGrath, and no one's there to pick up the pieces. Good play by Evans to step up. Check that one aside. He'll get all the way to Wade. Wade will continue it in. The Leafs will get a change and a fresh set of legs with two minutes and 48 seconds left to go, and they lead by one. Confronted by Zimmerman, stabbed into the corner by McGrath. Poked just outside the blue line by Zimmerman. I gotta, you got to start thinking about possession now. Two on one. Snapper, one-timer, good save. Still there. Trapped, set in the corner on the post. Front, Hill, chance, look. Sent it over the goaltender's stick side. Just missed it. Hender, not controlled by Ames and sent right off their bench at the 220 mark and all the way back down where McGrath will control behind his own net. It's McGrath. Checks it up to Hill. Stolen. In front, Gooding. With the puck now on the front side of his blade, he'll take a look. Send it to McGrath. McGrath to Spikers. Spikers loses control at center ice. Tries to continue on. Now tapped off the back of the blade by Gooding at the 155 mark. And the Leafs will dump and change. Big hit at center ice. Has a lot of the attention of a lot of the crowd. Good confrontation. 4-3 game. Ames has fought themselves back into this one after losing 75-80% of the neutral zone battles but has been able to stick around just long yeah. enough to keep this one a little bit more than interesting at the 144 mark in the third coach. Yeah, and they did a good job of killing our the, the five on three and the five on four and do the penalty killing, and we didn't get really many uh, great quality shots and take advantage of that, and now we have uh, this penalty here against us. We have a two minute for a, for a slash, and so uh, gives uh, Ames a life, you know, so the remainder of this game for 144, they're up on the power play, and, and they converted on the last one that they were on. So. Uh, we got to get back to, you know, uh, what we do on our on our penalty kill. We just got to make sure that we don't give any odd man rushes, get the thing deep, make them use the whole ice. Um, and then right now is where you got you to put the guys out there that are going to sacrifice themselves. They're going to take a shot and, and block shots and, and those type of things. You know, just don't give them a free lane. Says two minutes up on the board for the one-man advantage four aims. They don't even need all that. They got 144 left in the game. Leafs up four to three here in the third. Scrappy effort by Ames. They've been you know, lightly put but dominated for the majority of this game if you're looking for possession of the puck but they've been able to do just enough to stay into this one. Nifty shot at the end. Drew this one even closer. Now the Leafs are going to go on a rise pest control penalty kill. It'll be Kinney and Kelty on the front line and Michael and Borud on defense. Those are your four Leafs on the ice trying to save this one for the Leafs with 144 left to go in the third and final against the boys in black from the north. Tack to the side. 137 and counting aims the quarterback and come from left to right. And here they come. Play it all the way to the wing. Confronted, good back check by Kelty and sent furthermore by Bolrud. Step one, victory for the Leafs. Kinney on a full head of steam. Takes his man off the puck. Continues on. Controlled now again by Kelty. Good work by the Rabbits on this line. 110 left to go as the Leafs look to salt this one away if they can. That's Michael. He'll send it all the way back down. Step two. One by the Leafs. One minute flat. Controlled. That's sent to the red line. That controlled the plate off the back of the blade. Michael's got his stick on this one. Michael's going to skate it. He's going to leave it for Kinney. Kinney's still there. He'll take it into the corner. Shoot it into the corner. 45 seconds of counting. Step three. Good yep. work by the penalty kill for the Leafs coach. Absolutely. They did a good, good job of cycling back, going hard. Uh, they started off with dots. You know, and, and got the turnover and then went into the pressure mode and then just continued to put the pressure on, cycling back, recovering for each other. Um, and then we were able to, you know, through that and through the aggressiveness, be able to draw a penalty out of aim. So now it's going to be four on four hockey here. Uh, a lot of space, so puck possession. That's what you want with 43 seconds left to go here in this game. You know, just continue to possess the puck. 43 seconds left. One man, one goal lead for the Leafs. Pass for Shell, plays it to the point. Snapper, one time, that's a juicy rebound. No one there to pick up the pieces, but that wasn't the intention there. 
Back they come. That's McGrath. McGrath controls off the front of his blade. He'll skate it all the way around. He'll survey it. He leaves it in the corner and sent into open ice. That's a big play there. That's Borud, a left-hander. He's going to ride it and send it in. Take it all the way back around. 14 seconds and counting. Leafs trying to cling to a one-goal lead here. 4-3, 9-8-7. Still there. Ames is going to have to hurry. Good four-check by Ames. Giving up in the zone. Bosrichel, one-timer. Caught the post. He scored. At the very end, I think that got in just before. That got in before the, before the buzzer rang, and so um, it will be a 5-3 ending here, and that was good pressure at the, at the very end and just continue, you know, not let names set up anything. They weren't able to set up uh, any for, or any momentum going forward to get in, to set up on their power play yeah. uh, with the intensity that we were bringing, uh, drew a penalty, uh, and so we were able to finish this game with a 5-3 victory. We much needed two points, but uh, you know going forward we're gonna have to play much better uh, as our as our uh, schedule you know gets a little tougher you know as, as we move on. So yeah, two minutes to go on that one. Ames had a one-man advantage. Leafs were able to thwart that effort because it got a little testy. You got to yep. admit it. Yep. They were able to thwart it, turn the tables, and win this one. Leafs are going to win this, I believe, by a final score of five to three. I think the Pasta Show goal was just under the buzzer. So we're going to scrape, come back with varsity action. Dan Kenny, Andrew Wade, Ames in town. We'll join you in a little bit.